All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Zimwriter to scrape YouTube videos and write blogs from the information in those YouTube videos. So Zimwriter actually has a feature that will actually go and scrape the YouTube videos that you input in the background information, collect the background information from the content and the transcript, and then write the blog for you. So I'm gonna show you how to set that all up and then how to actually use it to produce blog posts very quickly and easily based on YouTube videos. So the first thing you need to do is obviously you need to get Zimwriter. So I'm gonna put my affiliate link in the description below for Zimwriter. If you go through that link and you get the lifetime access, you're gonna get $15 off the lifetime access. Matt's been kind enough to give me that through the link. So if you click that, you can go get it. The next thing that you're going to need to do is once you've got Zimwriter, you're going to need to sign up for what's called Scrape Owl. So I'll show you how to set that up now. We need to go into Zimwriter and actually set this all up. So what you want to do is this is the latest interface of Zimwriter that's up to date at the time of this video. There might be a newer one later on, but basically what you would do is go into options. And in here, you can see set up scrape hell. Now this is what you're gonna need in order to actually be able to scrape the YouTube videos through Zimwriter. So what you wanna do is hit set up scrape hell. And here you're gonna get met with this dialogue. Now what's gonna happen is Matt has got a deal with scrape hell that you can get a $5 plan through scrape hell, which you otherwise wouldn't have access to unless you have Zimwriter. So once you get Zimwriter, you can get that. That's got nothing to do with me at all. That's between Matt and scrape hell. So I don't get anything there. But basically what happens is you need to get Scrape Hell by clicking this button. So once you click that button, it's going to open this window. And when you get here, what's going to happen is if you go into pricing, you're going to see a special five month deal that you would not otherwise get through this website. Now, what's also cool is that you actually get a free trial as well which gives you a thousand credits for free and you don't need to put your credit card in. So you can actually go in and write blog posts without paying for anything at all to begin with, which is really cool. So what you wanna do is select the one that's obviously gonna be appropriate to what you need. I'm just using this one currently while I'm testing this. So I would recommend you just start here. So just click start free trial. And now what's gonna happen is it's just gonna ask you for some very basic details, like your first name, last name, email, password. So you obviously wanna enter those in. And then once you enter them in, it's gonna send a verification to your email. You just need to click that link and then you'll be in the account. So if we go now, we can see that we're in my account because I've already signed up for it, but that's what it's going to look like. You'll click that link and you'll get taken here. So now you have Sandal. So now what you need to do is you would need to take this API key that is going to give you down here, and then you need to copy that. And now you want to go back to Zimwriter and click set up new scrape owl API key. You can see here. So here you would enter it and hit okay. And it's going to do this. Now it's going to just check that it's active. And now if you have done this correctly, it will say I've successfully upgraded your Scrapal key. And now you have Scrapal. So here this will be set to none. I set it to the US just for the sake of it because typically speaking, I'm working with either the US or it's Australia, but you can set it to whichever one is most recommended for you for the proxy when it scrapes. Otherwise you could just leave it to none unless you face any issues. So I'm gonna leave that there. And now that's it. You can leave these settings and go back. So now we've got everything set up and we can go back to Zimwriter now. We can close this options window and now we can actually generate blogs using YouTube. So I'm going to show you what I did. I already produced one. I'm going to show you how I did it and then I'm going to show you the results. So what I did is you, you can do this through like the bulk writer and so on. For instance, if you go on the bulk writer, there is an option here where you can do YouTube videos enabled and you can enable YouTube videos as you can see here. And it's going to allow you to do it in bulk. I'm just going to show you how to do the SEO writer one at a time for the purpose of this video. But what you would do is go to SEO writer. Now you can see here, it's already got some stuff inputted. This is what I actually had from before. So what I did, I'm just going to erase all this and do it again from the beginning. What happened here is I took one of my YouTube videos and I wanted to produce a blog from the YouTube video. So what you would want to do is find the YouTube video that you want to write the blog on. And so what I did is I put the headline in. So mine was to Shopify SEO, which was what the video was about. And I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm just going to grab my video URL. So you want to grab the URL, which is this one, copy the URL of the video, and you can paste it in the global background. And so now what's going to happen is Zimwriter is actually going to scrape this and create a background summary for itself to use in the actual blog. Now, what's also cool is that you can actually do this for each one of these as well. So if you go enable subheading, you can put one here for each specific H2 as well. If you've got a specific YouTube video on that topic or whatever the case is, you can actually put it in here and it will scrape it in there as well, which is very, very useful if you want a really in-depth blog post. So what I'm, I'm just gonna leave this one to show you what happens. So now what you can do is you can actually produce the H2 and H3s 
based on this. So if you were to go through this one and click this, what it would actually do is it would scrape it and then it would produce the H2 and H3s it thinks are appropriate. So that's how I did it when I ran mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Otherwise, alternatively, you could fill in these manually, whichever ones you want in here. And then you could do star SEO writer with scraping URLs. So what I'm going to do for now is let's get the H2s from here. So I'm going to let it do this thing. And now it's going to scrape. And now you can see it's finished scraping and it's actually auto populated all of the H2 and H3 headlines. But not only that, it's actually auto populated the background as well. So Zimrider has now produced a global background based on the YouTube video URL that we put in here. Now, I would recommend you go through here and just double check what it says. For instance, here it says Samrush when it's actually supposed to be Semrush. So there will sometimes be a few little errors. You want to just double check whatever it's written in here is actually correct and that it's the information that you want on your actual page. So for instance, sometimes it does actually get its own data. Like I know for a fact, I didn't talk about this in my video and it's done it anyway, but that's not necessarily wrong. It's obviously pulled what it knows about SEO and combined it all together. However, this is fairly correct and fairly on point. Now, like I said, you can go through and edit this if you want to make anything. Last time I pulled a piece out that was not in there. It included link building, even though I didn't talk about link building in that video. So I just pulled it out. But otherwise, it's pretty accurate. And then it's obviously auto populate all this. So this can be a really fast way of producing content from YouTube videos if you don't want to go through and write a whole blog about this. So now what you can do is obviously you've got all the other settings in Zimrider here. So if you want to see how to use all the different settings, you can go watch my other videos. I'll put a link above. I've shown how to use Zimrider to write blogs in other videos. So I'll, I'll put that one in there. But basically you can select what model you want to use to write this post, which is going to dictate how the quality of the work, but also how expensive it is. And then you can also go and double check all these and make sure that you actually want all of these as they are. So for instance, I would change this and actually put these two as H3s here because I think they fall under here. And I'm just going to change utilizing to using Google Ads Keyword Planner and using SEMrush. And now we can go meta titles and I'm going to change descriptions is what I want here. This one can go. Obviously, it's auto filled all of the spaces here, which are more than I need. So I, I don't think that's relevant. So I'm going to just adjust all this headings and SEO incorrect. I want to put URLs. I know that was one H1 headlines headings. Okay, we'll just do SEO friendly URLs. That's actually pretty good. Optimizing image alt tags. So I'll go images and image alt tags content optimization strategies. This can be removed because that basically encompasses all of this keyword placement and content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that one of these. So you just, you need to double check this to make sure it's actually how you want it. Improve site speed, mobile friendliness. I didn't actually, I'm actually going to remove that because that's not part of it. Improve site speed, regular content updates. That's also not relevant for this technical SEO. What I do know is that I included, I'm going to go back to the video. I'm just going to pull out my list from the description. So you can see here, collection pages, product pages. So I'm going to include that. And I'm also going to do SEO optimizing products, sitemap, Google search console, SSL certificates, and then going ongoing blog content. So those are going to be my ones. So you see, I had to edit these a little bit to make it exactly how I wanted it. But overall, it got the gist of what's going on here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the settings I like to use. So personally, I like to use medium H2s voice, you can either use first, second or however, I usually stick to professional, but sometimes it's a little bit funny as well. So you want to just double check the writing. You can obviously select FAQs for this particular one. I don't want FAQs. I'm going to enable lists, but you don't necessarily have to. And I usually leave all of these unchecked. And now I'm just going to hit start SEO writer, no scraping because we've already scraped. And so now it's actually going to write the blog post. So we'll let it run and do its thing. I'm just going to hit yes for this, but be aware of this. It can, if you're using GPT-4 and it's a quite a lengthy blog and a lot of subtitles, you can end up costing you more. I'm just going to hit yes. The last one I did was about a dollar and we'll let this right now and we'll take a look at what it looks like when it's done. And now Zimrider has finished writing this and it has pushed out the article that it's made from my YouTube video. So you can see here, it costs about a dollar and 10 cents to produce this and it's 2,700 words. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste this into a word document just to make it easier to read. So now let's quickly go over this article. What I'm going to do is just remove the top section and I'll just show you what you can expect from this happening. So 
Obviously the headlines are going to be what we put in, but we can quickly skim over this and have a look at what it actually spat out. So we can have a look here. The ultimate guide Shopify SEO, invaluable resource for Shopify owners to look at leveraging. So, okay, it's a pretty good intro, actually. You can see importance of keyword research. That's the H2. This is actually a very good intro. This is better than what it used to be when it used to spit out intros previously. I actually like this one more. Previously, it used to ignore the fact that there were H3s under it, but now, or at least it wrote like that, whereas now it actually reads much better. This tool offered by Google helps identify keywords relevant to your business as potential customers. It's actually good. Competitive analysis, search volume done. This is correct. This is correct information. Now, SEMrush. So far, I'm actually pretty impressed with this post. This is all very correct. This is actually a very good blog post so far. This is actually better than the one that spat out previously for me. I actually like this one more. And this is all quite accurate based on what I said in the video. So obviously we'd take some time to go through this. I'm not gonna go through this entire blog post with you because otherwise this video is gonna be very long. You just watch me sit here and read this post. However, you can see here the type of thing that it spat out. And quite frankly, I'm pretty impressed with this. I'm, I'm gonna go through and edit it, but I will probably end up using this on my actual website on the blog. It's actually pretty good. And now the whole point is that it pulled all of this from the YouTube video I made. So if you're making YouTube videos or you find a YouTube video with the information that you want, you can pull that information and write blogs based on those YouTube videos. So you can imagine, especially if you're doing a bulk blog writer, what that would mean if you can write a whole bunch of articles based on YouTube videos, just doing it this way. So that's how you would actually do this. And then the process for the rest of this to finish up this article would be exactly the same as I talked about in my other videos, which is just editing it and making it, you know, polished up for how you want in this video. So. That's basically it for this. I just wanted to show you how you can actually use YouTube videos with Zimrider and save a heap of time to produce this, especially if you, you know, you're know you like me and you're making YouTube videos and you want the blogs, but you don't have time to write out all the blogs. This is a fantastic way to do it. So like I said, my Zimrider affiliate links are in the description below. If you get lifetime access one, you'll get $15 off. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to do either SEO or Google ads or anything else to do with running successful marketing campaigns for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. Or if you'd like us to do your SEO or Google ads or conversion rate optimization, go to dominatemarketing.io and book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.